I am getting my first tattoo. Don't know what you have heard, but your sound in a blur. Can't you see this is real? And you know how I feel. Don't know what you have heard, but you Hey guys, happy Soul Sunday. Welcome to a new video. Today is a very big day. I am getting my first tattoo. I'm excited. I'm also a little nervous, but mostly excited. I have honestly been wanting to get a tattoo for like two years now, and I found this design like ages ago, and right when I saw it, I was like, yes, I want to get this done. So I'm finally getting it done today, and it's going to be really cool. It's actually a Sunday right now, so I just got the last week's video. Technically, like today's video is last week's video when you're seeing this, so I'm getting that all ready to go. And yeah, I'm gonna publish that, do some Instagram stories, and then I'm driving to my friend's house, and then from there we're going to the tattoo place. So, very excited, and I'm just going to catch up with you when I am with Angel. So, here we go. <laughs> it's 19, and I dropped out for a few months in my hometown. Cause I'm moving on to big and better things. Got a lot of little things, but I'm up now Keep your head on straight, don't slow down Cause I'm moving on to big and better things We stay up too late, but we don't go out My new friends are fake, they all talk too loud I got one more year Now I'm in a rush, cause I'm 19 But I don't give up, cause I'm finding Everybody here's young, rich and sad Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. so what do you think about the placement? Let's see. I don't want to be so bad. I don't want to be so bad. I'm 19, trying to move out, but I don't. <laughs> How is it? Not fixed. Not fixed at all. Told you. You'll be back here every weekend. <laughs> It is a couple days later now and I thought I would just give a little recap of my experience getting my first tattoo, show you guys the updated tattoo like after it's healed a lot. I mean, I don't know if it's fully healed. I think it's like mostly healed because the lines were so thin. But anyway, I have the second skin off and it's had a couple days to heal. So I wanna show you guys what it looks like right now. Talk about what I've been doing to just like take care of it and make sure that it heals properly and then maybe some little tips for getting your first tattoo if you are wanting to do that. So yeah, so this is what the tattoo is currently looking like. Obviously my arm is like to the side so it doesn't look, hang on. So that is what the tattoo is currently looking like. It is so cute, I'm obsessed with it. I honestly could not be happier and my experience with getting the tattoo was amazing. So I got my tattoo done at Sleight of Hand in Vancouver by a girl named Ashley. I'll put her Instagram up here if you wanna check out her work. 
I think she did such an amazing job with it and I'm really happy with um, how like thin the lines were because apparently at most places you can't really get lines that are that thin so that was super cool and I'm very glad that it is looking how it is so as far as pain goes because I know that everyone's gonna want to know if it hurt or not and honestly it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be I was expecting it to feel like a really hot knife just like dragging through my skin but honestly the closest thing I can compare it to is if someone was like drawing on your skin with like a safety pin like a super 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 thin little needle I think because it's so thin that's why it didn't really hurt that much and also something that I found out is that when you're getting the tattoo done your skin kind of goes a little bit numb just because it is technically getting injured when you're getting the tattoo done so your nerves just kind of react in that way so it doesn't honestly hurt hardly at all there are certain parts of my arm like once you got closer to like the inside of my arm then it did hurt a little bit more but it was still like totally fine and honestly i wouldn't say that i have like an overly high pain tolerance so like even if you do have a low pain tolerance i still think you would be totally fine depending on where you're getting your tattoo done i have just been trying to just wear like either sleeveless shirts like this or just like really loose shirts like hoodies or something just so that there is no like constriction around the skin so that it can have like room to breathe i've also been just moisturizing it whenever it feels dry so that it doesn't crack or scab i'm pretty sure it will still scab a little bit at some point because that's what everyone has told me but as of right now it is doing perfectly fine but yeah i've just been rinsing it with warm water when i'm in the shower moisturizing it with the like super gentle like cetaphil unscented moisturizer that is how i've been taking care of it i will say that i had a minor reaction to the second skin that they put over it which is basically to seal off the tattoo helps it heal a little bit faster but it definitely left some like redness and just irritation around the tattoo the tattoo was totally fine but just the area around it got a little bit red it started to feel a little bit itchy so i just took like a non-drowsy like benadryl so then i was fine um so that's something to be i guess a little bit wary of if you are like prone to allergic reactions i don't exactly know what type of adhesive is on the second skin but maybe look into that if you do have allergies because i know that some people have also had way worse reactions to it than i have i'm rambling quite a bit so i'm gonna end the video here but i hope you enjoyed coming along with me to get my first tattoo there's probably gonna be a couple more in my future just like little ones because this is probably gonna be my only like bigger tattoo i know this isn't big but um, it's big for my arm, but anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Tick the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at jenny.mason. All of these things really do support me on my accounts because the algorithms are a beast, let me tell you. So if you do enjoy my content, please do consider helping me out in this simple way. And yeah, with all that being said, I will see you next week for a new video. I'm in a rush cause I'm 19 But I don't give up cause I'm finding Everybody here's young, rich, and sad But I want it so bad Now I'm growing up and I'm 19